Hi, everyone. You're listening to Mr. Dabalina's Wonderful World of Prank Calls. I'm your host, Mr. Dabalina, and today we're going to play some prank calls. Today we're starting out with a series of calls that was made back in 2015, I think it was. A listener sent me a picture of a memo that his apartment complex sent out, which told people that they are no longer allowed to draw on the sidewalk with chalk. And if I remember correctly, he also sent me a few phone numbers of people that lived there in the complex so that I could call them up and accuse them of writing on the sidewalk with chalk. Hello. Hello, Mr. Holt. Yeah. Hey, it's uh, Dave down in the office. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, um, you, you remember that memo we sent out about the sidewalk chalk? Yeah. Yeah, you, we we uh, we saw you on security camera. We know you were using sidewalk chalk, so we're going to have to issue a... Who co- was using sidewalk chalk? You were, Mr. Holt. And I we, was like hell. Oh, we have it on camera. We have you on there. You, I don't give a shit what you got you, on camera. You wrote on the ground in chalk, you wrote, I heart gay people. I did like hell. You did? So you admit it? What? So you admit that you did it then? I didn't. So you don't love gay people? Are you a homophobe? Oh. <laughs> Hello. Hey, just because you hang up on me, that doesn't mean you get away with not paying the fine. So it's going to be a $25 cleaning fee. Look at I'll be up there at the office in the morning. Why can't you come right now? Why in the morning? I'll be there in the morning. I'll be there in the morning. Okay, what f- why why to pay the fee? To pay the fine for drawing on the sidewalk? Oh. It's just <laughs> Hello? Hey, Mr. Sturgeon? Uh no. Ah. Oh. Crud. Is, uh, did I get the wrong number again? No, this is a Sturgeon registered, registered, residence, though. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I'm calling from the office. Hello? Hi, Mrs. Sturgeon? Uh, this is Sturgeon. Oh, that works. Yeah, you're the one. Uh, I'm calling from the office here at the townhomes. Yes. And, and you remember the memo we sent out about um, you're not allowed to uh, draw on the sidewalks? with chalk yes. With chalk? Well, we've yeah. we've caught you doing that, and, and on camera, on the security camera. We also had some reports from some residents. Chalk on the sidewalk in front of my house? Yeah, well, not not in front of your house. It seems like you you kind of walked around a little bit, so you wouldn't be uh, s- suspected. You, you didn't actually. Um, there's no. I don't write on the cho- on sidewalks or the houses or anything like that, other than in front of my house. Okay, and it's not me. It's my three children. Oh, well, they're not allowed to do that. But, um, no, besides the children, though, it, we saw you on security camera. Like, and you're walking around and you're just, going, like, you know, writing graffiti and stuff with chalk on the sidewalks. Um, no. You're drawing arrows for people to follow around and a hopscotch thing. And then you wrote, um, I heart gay people. It's like, who do, who's telling you this? Uh, just various residents. And then we checked the security tapes to confirm it. Okay, because this is BS, because I don't write on the sidewalk. Yeah, that's that's what a vandal would say, you know, to, to keep themselves out of trouble. You guys are really going to call me a vandal when I've been here for seven years. Well, just don't do that then. It's not a big deal. I won't charge you the cleaning fee this time. You know, um, Cleaning fee? It washes away. Are you kidding me right now? Well, apparently you didn't read the memo, because we said if you draw on the sidewalks, we're going to give you a cleaning fee. But you know, I'll be nice about it this time. I, I won't. I won't put and the no, fee on there. No, you know there. what? You guys can just zip it right now because I'm looking for a new place to live. Because this is bullshit. <sighs> well, maybe just just Goodbye. don't just don't do it anymore. Just say you're sorry. Hello. Hey, Mister Not. Hmm. Hey, it's uh, Roy from the. I'm I'm here in the office for. Okay. And and you remember that memo we sent out about um you not being able to uh, draw on the sidewalk with chalk anymore. Yeah, that was, that was last summer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was, it was in uh, April, actually, and yeah, I mean, okay. it, it didn't. The memo didn't expire. You you can't go around drawing on the sidewalk with chalk like that. What are you talking about? Well, we have you on security camera, and several people reported that they saw you uh, walking around with chalk and drawing things on the sidewalk. 
Are you smoking drugs? Of course not. Well, what kind of what, what the hell are you talking about? Well, I, well, first of all, I don't appreciate. Is this really the landlord's office? Of course it is, and I don't appreciate the accusation that I'm using drugs. I'm a Christian is this man. A joke? No, it's not a joke, and I'm not using drugs. I'm just calling to let you know you need to cut that out, or we're going to have to issue a clean. Well, I'm going to tell you right now that it's a bunch of crap. I know it's a bunch of crap, and you need to stop doing it. Stop acting hey, like a child. I've never, I've never done that in my life. Oh, what are well, you talking about? Oh, man? you know what? The camera does not lie. The, we we have it right oh, here. Is that on, so? That's right. Is that so? Yeah, is yeah. Is that pretty, so? Yes, that's very so. You know, the camera does not lie. It sees what it sees. We've got you well, on. It didn't see. It didn't see me writing on the sidewalk, dude. Well, maybe you just forgot you did it because you were high on drugs. <laughs> this has got to be a joke. Oh, you're the joke. I mean, you know, you're you're a grown man going around drawing on the sidewalks. Yes. Hey, I just wanted to let you know I forgive you for riding our this on our a, sidewalks, dude. This is a joke. It's got to be a joke. No, it's not a joke. I'm forgiving you. You're welcome. I'm forgiving you. I don't even know what you're talking about. You, you, you don't have to pay the fine. I'm not going to write it down. It's fine. Who is this? I forgive you. This is Roy. Who is this? It's Roy from the office. Do I know Roy from the office? Hell, if I know, I'm just saying I forgive you, and and I'm not gonna. I'm you not got gonna... nothing to forgive me for, dude. Well, just maybe I'll come down there on Monday and you can show me this footage. Why don't you just say thank you? Since I'm not going to charge you the fine. Because you're full of shit. I don't know what you're talking about. You're full of shit. You won't even admit that you did it. I I haven't done anything like that, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, we know you have because it's what? on the security camera. Is that so? Yeah, show it's me. still so. Well, show I, me. You want me to show you over the phone? Uh, no, I'll come down Monday. Are you going to be there Monday? Why not? Why don't you come down tomorrow? Because I'm busy tomorrow, dude. What are you doing? It's none of your bloody business. I'll come down Monday. Well, sounds kind of sketchy. You're in regular business. Sounds kind of sketchy if you won't tell me you what you're show doing. Show me all this crap. Yeah, I know it's crap. Drawing on the sidewalks is crap. Hey, it dude, makes the whole listen. place look ugly. Listen, dude. We're not a bunch you're of hobos like you. You're out of your mind. I don't know who the hell you are. I already told you who I am. This, this, this is coming from, it says landlord office, so obviously it's coming from the office. Yeah, obviously. I wasn't lying about that part, was I? Lying about what? I don't know. You're trying to say I'm lying, that I wouldn't really be with well, the you office. you are lying, dude. You're, I don't know what you're talking about. You're the one lying. Is that so? Yeah, it's definitely so. I have the security camera footage to prove it. Well, you, you don't. You fucking vandal. Well, you don't have any security footage. To oh, you, you'll, you'll see. You'll see when you come to the office. We've got the, all the footage right here. Is that right? Yeah, it's it's right. You don't have well, to confirm right. everything I say, you're asshole. You're out of your mind, dude. You're out of your mind. Asshole now, eh? Yeah, well, you know, at least I'm not going around drawing on the sidewalk with chalk. Yeah, like a, like a hooligan. I do. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. I've, I've lived here for like, what, 12, 13 years? That doesn't give you the right. It doesn't give you the right to draw on the sidewalks. They're not your sidewalks. Okay. I'm not drawing on the sidewalk, dude, and I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Well, you're just proving to me that you're also a liar in addition to being a vandal. Is that so? Yep. Yep. I, I'm confirming. Yes, it is so. Who's the, where's the head office for this company? Oh, don't worry about Who's it. the number? You, give me the number, dude. No, you're just gonna you're just gonna come here no, and, no, and give see me us. The number, dude. You're, you're gonna see us on Monday, dude. Because you're full of crap. I am it's not, dude. You're the one that's full of crap, dude. Don't call back again tonight, there, Roy. Okay, dude. I won't do it. We'll be down. Th- we'll be down there on Monday. You can show me all this wondrous footage, this imaginary footage of me writing on the side. Yeah, yeah. You have fun doing your imaginary stuff tomorrow. That you're so busy, you can't come tomorrow. And- Hello. Hey, uh, this is uh, Dave down in the office for the townhomes. Ray. And uh, do you remember us sending out that memo about like how you couldn't draw on the sidewalks with chalk? Yes. Well, we we've caught you. We we saw that you were doing it, and uh, we're gonna have to send you a cleaning fee. Are you really so, serious? Yeah, yeah. We, I I do not do. Look, I don't even have kids. Well, yeah, that, that's why it's extra weird. I mean, why would you be out there drawn just by yourself and writing? You caught me drawn with chalk on a sidewalk or something. I, you don't even go outside. I know, I don't even go outside. <laughs> this, this is baloney. Did she just call you a hermit? Oh, I'm not, I know, I'm not confirming it because I never do. Come, come and talk to a person. Hey, hey, tell that person in the background. Yeah, that is my boyfriend in the background. Oh, tell him to my shut up. My daughter is here. Oh, wait, I thought you didn't have kids. I d- 
Well, my daughter's grown up. She's 30 years old. Do you think she's going to be out there drawing with Chuck? Well, I don't know. I mean, you're out there doing it. No, maybe, maybe I am she... not because I don't even use it. Yeah, you're 50-some Hey, uh, hey yeah. tell Yeah, speaking of that, I am 58 years old. Do you expect a 50-year-old going out there with Chuck? Yeah, hey, just real quick, can you tell that person in the background to shut the fuck up? Because they're being... Pardon me? Tell him to shut the fuck no, up. No, he's, he's mad too because I don't do that. Oh, I know, but just tell him to shut the this fuck up. This is a stupid Be- phone call. Oh, you're you're a stupid phone call. I've no, got I- kids two doors down that might have, and I got two doors in oh, my now, back door. Now you just have kids also. all over the place. Well, it's not me. Yeah, I'm I- 58 years old. I think I'm going to go outside and draw on the tra- on the sidewalk or whatever. Well, I, I'm That's baloney. I know, we- and you know what? If it happens to be on the side of my building. It's the kids doing it, because you know what? No, I have kids even peeing against that wall. Oh, my God. Yes. Holy and crap. And I haven't complained about that. Peeing on the wall? But I'm going to make a complaint on look, on uh, what Monday when I pay my rent. But look, just just because you're, uh, just because, you know, they're peeing on your wall, that doesn't give you a right to write on the sidewalks with chalk. I don't write on the wall. No, on the sidewalks. You can't ride on the sidewalks. I don't ride on the sidewalk. Well, we sent out a memo. Have you seen the kids out there with the door that's laying on the sidewalk right now? Yeah, but and they're I, kicking it and breaking it up into pieces. Yeah, but I don't say anything to them because I'm afraid of those kids. They scare me. No, look, I this it's really got me pissed off. Well, right? Yeah, but I don't do that. I know, but the the only reason I can't talk to those yeah, kids. Yeah, hold on is, a minute. Guess what? I got enough witnesses here now. Oh no. Thickens. Hello? Oh, hello? Who's this? Yeah, hi. Hi, uh, this is uh, Carlton here talking to our mom, her boyfriend, and um, Nelly doesn't even leave her house. Um, uh, like, she's always at home. She's a 57 year old lady. I'm pretty sure you guys know her. She lives at the end. Or you're not, are you new here? No, no, we know her and everything. We just saw her on camera, and she's, t- she's, uh. Um, you saw her on camera doing what? Drawing on the sidewalk with chalk. I think she's lying to okay, you. Okay, hold on, hold on. He said he's, he's got you on camera drawing on the sidewalk. That's not me. No, but you have it on camera. It's like, we're not, like, I mean, this is a bad situation. Yes. Please, let me talk to the gentleman. Now, uh, she needs to see that, but um, if you guys know Nelly, she's lived here for years. Oh, years. yeah, yeah, what? I know. She's not like that. She doesn't even leave her house, so she's a bit yeah. perplexed at could, what you're talking about. Could, you understand my point, right? Could, could you tell her real quick just to shut the fuck up? Because I can't hear you because she's yelling okay, in the background. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, listen. Go ahead, tell her yourself. Okay. Are you at the office right now? Uh, yeah, but we're not open right now. You can't can I come t- over and see that video. No, you can't come in. Nope. I can't. No. Hold on, quiet, guys. We- I'm going to talk to this guy. We- can I come over and see that video? But we don't want vandals coming into into our office. So in other words, you cannot prove it. Well, no, just that you're a vandal. We don't. You let me come over right now, and I'll tell you if it's me or not. Well, we're afraid you might come in here and start spray painting the walls or something. Hey, hey listen, buddy. Listen. Uh, you know what? I, I'd probably rather talk to you like your boss or something because you have no business uh, cooth at all. Like, listen to the way you're talking. Somebody's making a crank call that's not them. What? A crank it's call? Not that's right. It's a crank call. How, and how? I'm going to call the office and the police. Yeah. No, don't call them, please. No, no. Not. I'm going to call the police. No, he don't. Hear what, don't he's incriminating no, himself. It's, it's just he's a, incriminating himself it, right now. Let him talk. It's just a prank Continue. call. It's just a prank call. Don't call the police. It's just a single prank call. No, we're taking this very seriously. Yeah, I am. Well, you shouldn't. It's just a prank call. It's just a joke. Let him talk or you're going to... Okay, so what is the end result of this then? You got her on camera graffitiing gra- the place. Tomorrow, tomorrow she's going to be down there to talk to you guys. Well, we might even walk over there now. No. And I'm, what's your name? No, look, I don't even work at the apartments. I, I, I'm one of those oh, kids. Oh, okay, I see. I, I'm one of those Frank kids Cole, that was yeah? stomping on the door. I'm, I'm one of them. Oh, they hung up. That file was labeled completely insane family, and I think that's because they were completely insane. That's why I let them know that it was a prank, because it seemed like they were just going to, I don't know what they were going to do. But it seemed best to just let him in on the joke. You'd think they would have thought that was hilarious, but nope. They just kept up with the threats and hung up on me and whatever. I don't care. Remember in the last show, the entire show was basically just one long prank call about those car recall people? 
We're going to end today's show with a few more of those people who owned Ford Fusions and there was a recall issued on them, some kind of a bolt needed replacing or something like that. Here's some calls to owners of Ford Fusions. Hello? Hi, Francis. Uh-huh. This is Roy from the car dealership. I was just calling about you, calling you about your recall. Oh, okay, yes. And uh, I just needed to let you know it's going to be another two weeks before we get that recall to come in. Okay. So, uh, in the meantime... Well, I, I, appreciate you, I, so I appreciate you letting me know. Okay, anyway, uh, mm-hmm. I needed to let you know that we've we've pushed a firmware update to your car through the you know through the software for the car. Uh-huh. And uh it's going to until until we get the the part replaced, we're going to put your car on autopilot mode, so it's going to be self-driving from now on. Okay, I don't know what that means, but um well it just means when you you get in your car and you start it up mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. it'll drive itself. You you have to tell it where to go to on the screen. Are you are you really serious? Of course, yeah, yeah. It's just a temporary thing. Uh, technically, it's mm-hmm. not legal to do that yet, but just you know, just pretend you're driving. But really, the car will be doing the driving. Okay. Well, what if I don't? What do you What do you mean when you say to tell it where to go? Uh, I don't have a, a navigator on my car. Oh no, you do. It's built in. Uh, it's we just we sent a firmware update over the internet to your car. Uh huh. So it's all going to work next time you get in the car. It just now finished uploading. Okay, and so I just... Okay, so uh, it, you don't touch the wheel or what? Right, yeah. Well, I mean, you can, but it'll be really hard to turn it because the car is going to be turning it for you, and the car will be doing all the braking and, and making the car go, and it'll, it'll park the car for you. Um, why don't they just wait, and then the two weeks I bring it in and you get the part? Well, yeah, but just in the meantime, because, you know, if you need to drive anywhere. You're, you're right, ca- and, and if I get messed up, what happens? I mean, you don't hit the brake, you don't hit anything? Oh, no, no, you don't touch anything anymore. It's all, it's fully automated. You still have the car, right? You didn't leave it here with us? Oh, no, no, it's here. Okay, all right, I w- wanted to make sure. Yeah, yeah, it's it's going to be self-driving next time you get in it. Yeah. It'll yeah, just, I just for two. I really feel comfortable with that or not. Oh, it'll be fine. It's safer than you driving. No, I mean, I mean, what I'm saying is, yeah, but okay, a car comes towards me and I need to step on the brake then or accelerate to get away from it. What do you do? Uh, the car will I mean, do. I, the last week, I've had several times when somebody's come across the center line, I had to go over to the right to get away from them. The car does that automatically. That car automatically sensor that. Or yeah, what? yeah, it has sensors and cameras all over it, and it'll see the cars coming and it'll just <laughs> swerve into the next lane out of the way. Mm-hmm. It's not too good with people. Uh, like it could hit a person, but at least it won't hit a car. I don't know about this. But it, it's safer than a woman's driving, you know. Not really. No, it, it is. It's the. This is the future. Well, it's not my future, right? <laughs> to tell you. No, no. Everyone's going to have a self-driving car. Ten years from now, it's all going to be self-driving. So you're you're basically yeah. you're getting a free taste of the future before you die. Well. I don't know about that, but I'm 64 years old. I don't see me in 10 years from now driving a car in the first place. But yeah, that's no, that, that's the thing. Themselves. You won't have to in 10 years. They're all going to drive themselves. You'll just pick up your cell phone and push an app, and the car will come and pick you up like a taxi. But there won't be a driver in it. Yeah, well, there's a lot of malfunctions. We have a lot of malfunctions on things. So. Oh, quit worrying. It's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. All right, well, um, all right. We've also updated the firmware uh, for your gas tank, and your car doesn't take gas anymore. You're, you're lying to me, because my car does take gas. No, but we've, up, but we've updated the firmware, so you, t- you have to plug it in now. I have no idea what you're talking about. And it's also a flying car. A what? Your car can fly now. Oh, who is this? This is Roy from the car dealership. No, you're not Roy from the car dealership. I am too. Look at your caller ID. I know. I saw your thing, but my car does not fly. Are you on something or what? No, I'm not. But it really does drive itself. Um, it, 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 I'm, I'm not saying it flies. I'm just saying if it needs to jump a ramp or something, it will. And it won't be a problem. Okay. All right. 
It also has a cloaking ability, so if the police try to pull you over, you can go invisible. Okay, is there somebody there, your, your supervisor, I could speak with, please? No, he's busy right now. No, no, but, no I want to talk to him. But it's no big deal. I mean, the what was the part that was recalled? Was it the door lat? Oh, she hung up. Hello? Hey, is uh, Betty there? Just a minute, please. Okay. Hello? Hello, Betty? Yes? Hi, this is Roy from the car dealership. I'm calling about your Fusion. Yes. And uh, I needed to let you know that that bolt is in for, for your, power okay. s your power steering. You know? The bolt is for the power steering? Yeah, if you want to come by and pick that up. You're going to have to put it in yourself, though. I have to put it in myself? Yeah, because the, the recall, um, it only covers the price of the bolt. But you have to install the bolt yourself. Is this guy a joke? I have to install this by myself. What do you do, hang up? No, he's still on there. Hello? Hello. Who's this? Uh, I'm Betty's husband. Uh, what, what is the deal with the power steering bolt? Oh, it's just the, the bolt that's in there now is faulty. So if you come yeah. in, w w the new bolts just arrived today. So if you come in, we'll give you the bolt, and then you can take it home and put it in. Why do we do that? Uh, well, because the recall only covers the price of the bolt, not the price of the labor. I don't even know where the bolt goes. Uh, we'll, we'll sell <laughs> you a, a manual that'll it'll show you where everything is, so you can take apart the entire steering column and put it in. You'll have to. You just have to take You're the. You have me. to take the steering wheel off. You have to disconnect the airbags. You have to be really careful with that. You don't want them to go off accidentally. Oh yeah. And right. you have to take apart the steering column, and take off the entire front of the dashboard so you can reach where the bolt goes. It's really easy. I've done it. Yeah, sounds like it. Yep. But it's it's here. If you want to come and get it, we're open at seven in the morning. Or, I mean, you can come tonight if you can get here in a half hour. We close at 8. This, this is a joke, right? No, it's not a joke. The bolt's ready. Huh. It, the bolt is here. I sure as hell ain't going to do all that. Why not? It's easy. And don't you know how to fix it things? Is. You're a man. You should know how to fix things. Oh, yeah. Like, what? what what's the problem here? <laughs> we bought the car to be right, so... Uh this is a recall. It needs to be done by Ford. Oh, no, no. We, we'll pay for the bolt, but it's your problem to install it. We'll install it for you, but it's going to be about $600 in labor. Who is this? This is Roy from the car dealership. From what car dealership? Um, you know, from the one that you got your car from. Durr. Which, which is what? It's... This is the dumbest thing I've ever heard of in my life. Oh, your face is the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. Don't call me dumb. This is the way f runs their dealerships? What's the problem? You think you could do better? We're not going to just do a $600 bolt install for free. Why? Why would we do it for free? Why not? We bought it. It was supposed to be okay. Now it's on a recall. Why can't you do it? You should just do it yourself because your husband sounds incompetent. I bet you could do it. It's really easy. You just need a screwdriver. You are some kind of a jerk. I don't know what you're pulling, but I don't believe this is true. What is your name, sir? My name is Roy. I've told you guys Roy that what? three times now. Roy what? No, no, it's not Roy what. It's Roy Gerbel. <laughs> yeah, it's a good joke. What do you I'll mean? stop down and find out about it. Okay, you're going to find out that it's not a joke. And and if, if you give me any more problems, I'm going to charge you an attitude fee. <laughs> what about your attitude? Well, I don't get charged fees here. I work here, ma'am. They don't charge you for working there? Well, sir, can you get your wife off the phone? She's really irritating. What do you think you are? Well, not irritating like you. Hey, you want to bet? All right, I bet you. 
Five bucks says you're more irritating than I am. Just hang up the phone and let the men speak, okay? Sir, are you still there? Yes, I am. I'm going to call the... Uh I'm going to call the man who sold me the car and uh, see what he has to say about it. Good. He'll tell you the same thing. Come in and pick up your stupid bolt. Yeah. Yup. All right. Well, I'll let you go, I guess. Yeah, I think you better. Well, I think you better. Why don't you hang up? Hello? Hello, Josh? Yes. Hey, it's Roy from the car dealership. Okay. And uh, I'm just calling about your, your 2014 Fusion. Yes. And uh, did they tell you about that bolt that needed to be replaced? Uh, I was supposed to hear back from Linda or okay. whoever that is. Oh, okay. That. You, want, you want me to just, like, hang up and you can I'll have her call back later since you don't want to talk to me? Well, no, I was just saying that too. I was, I just didn't know who I, who I needed to talk to to get this fixed. Oh I mean, no, I'm, I can talk to you. I just didn't know. I'm calling to let you know we did a firmware update over the internet, and that fixed the bolt. So you don't really have to do the, the, have the bolt changed anymore. We did it through a software update. Really? Yep. Wow, oh, that's amazing. Yep. Are you impressed? Well, I. I I, well, I still got to bring in for an old chain of stuff, and there's some other stuff that I need to take care of, but it's not it's not as far as we call goes. But yeah, uh, when you were yeah, in here but for no, your... she was supposed to call me and let me because I because somebody she called here earlier, I guess, or it might have been you, and then I called back and she was already gone, and somebody told me that I was uh, number six on the list. So I, I mean, I didn't know what all was going on. Yep, you're number six. How does that make you feel? special okay good hey when you were in here last time for your oil change um did you find anything after you left i think it was back in april did you find anything under the seat that was left behind mm, no why what was it uh chad left his uh it was a marijuana pipe he left it inside your car but i mean he swears he did but he, he can't find it anywhere and he's pretty sure he left it inside your car during the oil change. Hold on just a second. Okay. Are you checking for it? Are you digging around? Under the front or the, uh, the driver or the passenger seat? Um, he said he was sitting in the back seat. That's all he told me. But he's not here now, so I can't ask him. He he um he was sitting in the back seat smoking marijuana while they changed her oil. And and my car. Yes. Are you serious? Yes, sir. Well, is Mister aware of this? Um, no, no, we wouldn't tell him about that. We don't want to get in trouble. Don't want to get who in trouble. Well, Chad wouldn't want to get in trouble because he's not really supposed to smoke marijuana uh, while he's working. Well, no. He, well, I know that. He, he's had uh, warnings about it already, so we wouldn't tell tell him. But did did you check around? Did you did you find the marijuana pipe? It's just a small one. I'm not seeing nothing. You're not seeing nothing? That means you are seeing no. something. Do what? Um, what? Did you check, did you check on it's both the, sides? It's the 2014 Ford Fusion, correct? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. All right, well, you know what? He, he ain't supposed to know, but this is bullshit. I am personally going to come talk to him tomorrow. No, don't do that, because that'll get, that'll get Chad in trouble. I don't care. Well, you should care. I mean, he's the one that does your oil. If you get him in trouble, who knows what could happen. Uh, I can be more than happy to go to Chevrolet. I know. Well, come on. Don't do that. Just just don't just don't and, tell our boss, okay? Because it's, it's not a big deal. What is it's, your name by it's any just, chance? It's just marijuana. It's practically legal now. 
I don't care what it is. I mean, he didn't he didn't burn your seat or anything with it. It don't matter. And who am I talking to? My name is Roy. I work in the service. And you work at where? I work at the the car dealership in the service department. Are you there now? Yeah, I am. All right. Well, I'm coming up there. For what? You're getting an oil change tonight? No, to see you in because this. Because this what? No, this conversation is done. Is it? Then why are you coming over here if the conversation is done? Like, wouldn't that well, be pointless? Well, I want to know where where you get off coming to tell me this. Well, hey, if you come over here, do you think I could search around in your car? Maybe look uh, in the, you know, maybe under the seat, like under the, the back seat? Maybe it just kind of got squished down in the back? Well, I have a seat cover on the back of my seat, and there's no way you can get underneath of it. Oh, okay. You, you didn't just take the marijuana pipe for yourself, did you? Because it's an expensive pipe. It's like $70. No, I don't do that shit. My job does not allow me to do that shit. Oh, so you would if it wasn't for your job? Is what you're saying? No, not at all. Well, it doesn't... I mean, did you just want to sell it to somebody? Is that what you did? You just wanted to make some money? No, I no. I'd have been right back up there if I would have found it. Unless you decided to sell it, because he left a bag of marijuana in there too, and a lighter. Dude, you're, I, I don't know who you are, but you're really pissing me off. Well, I don't mean to. I just thought I'd ask because Chad was really bummed out that he lost his pipe. It was his favorite pipe. I mean, it's just it's a. And that's where he hangs up. Poor Chad, he's never going to get his weed pipe back. Thanks for listening to episode 11 of Mr. Dabalina's Wonderful World of Prank Calls. If you enjoyed this show, be sure to subscribe to it on iTunes or on your Android machine. And listen to my other prank shows over at snowplowshow.com and patreon.com slash phone losers. There's a couple of shows on the Patreon and one of them's even free. I must offer to you a confession. I like movies that give me a fright.